Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can do statistics including standard deviation, variance, and mean on the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do this we'll use the menu key that looks like this located here, the F1 through F6 keys that look like this located here, and the VARS or VARS key that looks like this located here. If we want to get started working with stats we have to use stats mode on this calculator. To do that we go menu to the main menu and then select stat mode here. We press the EXE and we're in stat mode and it'll display a number of lists like this. This will be our data set that we're working with right here. If you go to this mode and you find there's already some numbers or data entered, you can delete that by pressing the F6 until you see the DEL for delete. This will delete one of the numbers or DELA which will delete all of them in one list. We'll use DELA here. It'll ask us to confirm yes. There we go, we've gotten rid of the old data and we're good to start. Now we want to enter our data into this list 1. So we'll start with 60, hit the EXE, there we go, 20, 10, and we see we have two 10s here. If we have a lot of repeating numbers we can use a frequency to add them all in at once. But since we only have two, right now we'll just enter them all individually and we'll come back to that frequency. So we'll enter our second 10 there. There we go, all our data has been entered. Now if we don't see calc at the bottom here, we want to press F6 until we do. There we go, we have calc here at the F2 key, so we press that. And then it'll ask 1 var or 2 var. We want one variable stats, so we'll press F1. And there we go, it's calculated our stats for us. We get an x bar or mean of 25. We get a sum of 100, a sum of squares of 4200, which is correct. We get a population standard deviation of 20.6155, etc. A sample standard deviation of 23.8047, etc and an n, or number of variables, of 4, which again is correct. And if we scroll down, we see we get a min x of 10, a first quartile of 10, a median of 15, a third quartile of 40, a max x of 60, so that's our maximum value, a mode of 10, and if we continue to scroll down we get a mode n and mode f as well. So that covers our basic stats, but what if we have a lot of repeating variables, like say we have these two tens here, and want to enter that all at once into our data set. Well, if we press exit and go back to our data set here, and if we clear our data set so we can start over, let's enter our data now using the frequency option. So now we want to enter each unique piece of data. So we have 60, enter, 20, enter, 10, enter, and since we have another 10, but we've already entered 10 once, that's all we need to do. We've entered each unique piece of data. Now we need to enter our frequency table. So we want to scroll over to list 2, and now we want to tell our calculator how many times each number occurs. Well, we have 60 once, so we put 1 there. We have 20 once, so we press 1 there and we have 10 two times, so we'll press 2 there. Now what we want to do 
is scroll over to Calc again and press F2. But before we choose one var here, we need to go to F6 or set. This is where we set what each of our lists mean. For our X list, we have list one, which we don't want to touch. But if we scroll down, we see our one variable frequency is listed at one. That means each number in list one occurs once. But we want to change that to our frequency. So if we press list here, F2, and it'll ask us to choose a list, we'll choose list two, select that. There we go, list one is our variables, list two is our frequency. We can exit out of that. And now that we've got our frequency set, we can hit the one var key and it calculates our data for us again. And you'll see, we get the same result, but we only had to enter that 10 in once, saving us some time if we have a lot of repeating variables. But what if we want to find our variance or use our stats in other calculations? Well, if we go to Menu and then Run, select that, back to our main screen here, we can recall our variables by pressing the VARS key and then choosing F3 for Stat. And then from this menu, we want to choose F1 for X and there we go, we see our variables here. So if we choose F1 for N, we see we get four, which is correct. If we see X bar, that's our mean, we can recall that, 25. And you can see we have a number of our statistics available to us here. If we want to determine our population variance, we know we find that by squaring our population standard deviation. So to get that, we can recall our population standard deviation here with F5, and then square it with the X squared, and hit EXE, and see we get a population variance of 425. If we scroll over with F6, we can also do the same with our sample standard deviation to find sample variance. So we choose that, square it, and press EXE, and we see we get a sample variance of 566.666, etc. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.